Welcome. Come take a look on how many different ways we can make applique in the Floriani Total Control Universe. It is an amazing one-click wonder. It's so easy. We work with artwork in the software. So all we're gonna do is take this little bird right here and we're gonna come right down here to this little green icon. It looks like a little bush and it says applique. I'm just gonna click on it. Ta-da, it is an applique. And to prove that to you, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna to go to my slow redraw. Let me bring it back up on the screen. Let's get our slow redraw here and here we go. You ready? There is my placement line. I lay my fabric over this. It's going to tack it down. I'm going to trim my fabric to the edges and now it's doing the satin stitch around. That's the fastest, easiest embroidery applique there is. But like everything in Floriani Total Control Universe or FTCU for short, you can change things, you can make it your own. So let's go ahead and let's make some changes to this applique right here. So I'm gonna select my applique. And what I'm gonna do is come over here to my window and I'm gonna take a look at my window and look at the different things I can do. Well, one is we have fantastic electronic cutters out there and we, we may pre-cut our applique. So when we do our applique and we pre-cut it, if I go to my slow redraw and I draw, there's my placement, I don't need this second tack down line to trim my fabric because I've already pre-cut it. So let's get rid of that. Let's show you how you can do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to select my applique again. And I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna say, where it says sew tack down, I'm gonna delete that. And now when I go through here, it is going to give me my placement. I put my pre-cut appli bird applique down and now it's gonna come around and do the satin stitch. Now, just like everybody, when you do a satin stitch, even when you sew a satin stitch on a piece of fabric, sometimes you get a little tunneling, tunneling or puckering in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add underlay. And this was a brand new update that was just released that in our applique now, we are able to come in and sew an underlay. And maybe we want a wider satin. Right now it's at three millimeters. Let's just move it up to four millimeters. And we're gonna have it do the underlay underneath the satin. I still don't need my tack down because I'm putting my pre-cut applique in there and I'm going to apply this. So now take a look at this. This is so cool. Here comes your placement line. You lay your fabric down. Your, I'm sorry, you lay your pre-cut design down. Now it is doing the underlay stitches and now the satin over it. And do you see how the underlay and the satin stitches are the same color? That's really cool. But let's say I do not have an electronic cutter or I'm not pre-cutting my applique size. Let's go ahead and make some changes again. I want to sew my tack down, but I want it to be a zigzag, not a straight line. So I'm gonna come to applique extra and where it says tack down type, I'm gonna change it from a run to a zigzag and apply it. So now I have several things going on. Here's my placement. I put my pre-cut applique down. I'm letting it tack it down. And now it's gonna come back and it's going to do my underlay and my stitches. How cool is that? All right, so it's got everything I need here in this design. But what if I don't want a satin stitch? What if I don't need all of this? I want a blanket stitch. All right, let's change it to a blanket stitch. This is gonna be easy. Now on a blanket stitch, come up here to my applique type and I select blanket. I don't need my underlay. I don't need my tack down because I'm gonna pre-cut it. And let's just apply it and let's see what happens. Here we go, there's my placement. I put my bird that I've already cut down and now I do the applique of a blanket stitch. That's easy. 
Now here's another thing that's super easy. What if I want a decorative stitch? So I'm gonna select the bird again, and I'm just gonna come over and let's go select a decorative stitch. And a fancy term for that is called a motif. And I'm gonna come down and just pick, there's hundreds of motifs to pick from. And I'm just gonna come down here and find a motif and I'll pick a motif and put it on here or a decorative stitch. Let's do this one and I'm gonna apply it. Now, when it first applies, you go, oh no, that's not gonna work. That's okay. That's a big size. Let's just change the size so that I can do a smaller one. And I'll probably like this for my motif. And there we go. I now have my applique ready to go with the decorative stitch. There's my placement. There it is, stitching it down. How cool is that? So applique the Floriani way with Floriani Total Control Universe is super easy and you can play with it and change and do anything you want to your applique. Thanks for watching.